All right, and welcome to Documentary Filmmaking, The Basics. Okay, for this project, we are going to make a video using essentially only still images. Okay, what this allows you as a student to do is that you can make a documentary about the most incredible subjects. You can make it about the Grand Canyon. You can make it about Mars. You can do all those things, and you don't have to go to the Grand Canyon. You don't have to go to Mars. You just have to be able to collect images about your subject and then put them together in an interesting way with interesting dialogue in the background or a narration to it. Okay, so that's what this one is all about. Now in the other levels, we're going to talk about going out and shooting video and doing all those things. But this one, we're going to do just really essential work. This is what most of your documentary, most of your videos are going to be about using this technique, okay, where you gather together still images and then you make a documentary about them. Okay, so in film production, in video production, all those things, it is broken down into three stages, okay? You have your pre-production, everything that happens before you press the record button. You have your production, when you press record, and when you're kind of putting things together. And then you have post-production, and that's kind of putting the final touches and the kind of the icing on the cake and exporting the video to be able to be shared and viewed by other people, okay? Now, most students, when they get into it and they're like, ah, oh, I'm, I'm doing my video production badge. This is gonna be great, videography, I'm in it. And they're like, yeah, give me the, give me, let's press record. No, pressing record, and, and if you go to Hollywood or you know, any of those type of, of, of production houses, you're going to realize that Pressing record is the smallest portion of what they actually do. Um, to, to make a movie, years go into pre-production, okay? They're writing scripts, they're editing scripts, they're storyboarding, they're putting, they're hiring the cast, they're doing all those things, they're rehearsing, and then finally they'll get together a production schedule and they will actually shoot the movie, okay? And then it'll go into post-production, all the other stuff that goes in after that. So we've got to do the same thing. I know you really just want to run out there and press record, but honestly, uh, the people that are getting watched on YouTube and those, it used to be just, you know, I just happened to be there and got a video and there's still some of that going on. But the people who really get a lot of subscribers and a lot of viewer base are because they have high production value. Their work is good, okay? I mean, it is quality work and that's what we're gonna be talking about in this one. So let's get right into it. Okay, so for pre-production, Today we're going to produce a video all about the charity called Kiva. It's one I personally support and I really enjoy. Uh, and we're going to do a little video all about that. And for that, pre-production kind of goes this way. Uh, number one is you need to brainstorm the idea. And brainstorming comes down to two parts. You always need to have a problem and you need to have a solution. Okay, that's how we're wired as people. That goes way back beyond Shakespeare is that we see a problem, we wanna have a solution. That's, that's what dramatic writing is all about. That's what dr dramatic video production and movies are all about. We like to see problems and then solutions. And if you think back to any recent movies you've seen, they all have that in common. Okay, so for this one, uh, my problem that I'm presenting is that there's people all around the world that uh, are stuck in poverty. They're stuck there. There's just they're, They just can't find a way out. And then the solution to that is that uh, Kiva comes in and they're able to give them micro loans for their businesses, which then helps them out of poverty. They pay back that loan and then Kiva can go loan it to somebody else. Okay, so that's my brainstorming. Then from there, I actually go and I write a script. This one's for all you people that were worried, thinking, hey, we're not going to uh, do a lot of writing and tech work here, but we actually do do a lot of writing. So uh, I wrote a script, and uh, this is all the, the Kiva script. Actually, I got the script from watching another video about it, but that's, that's a whole other project. But for you, you've got to write an original script, okay? So anyhow, uh, you come down to, to writing the script. So you've got a script written, and, and as you can see, this is not a big script, okay? This, this is just, you know, reasonably sized. It's, it's not a lot of writing. It's not like I had to put 18 pages of, of writing together to write this uh, little video we want to do. Okay, the, the next thing we do is we take that script and we, we convert this script into a storyboard. And I've got the storyboard template uh, for this linked below this video, okay? So you can download blanks of this or you can just draw them out in your book or whatever. They're really simple. You got six square boxes representing the video that you're going to see and then you got a little area under each one for the dialogue or what people are saying. Okay, so you can see my movie here going from my script. 
Uh, it's going to start with a title that says uh, how Kiva works. Okay, and that's just a title. And then you can see up here, we got a selfie video with the person with the smallest head ever made and a big body. I'm, I'm a horrible artist, what can I say? But that's coming up later in the art, <laughs> in the art badge. We'll, we'll convert. Both you and I will, will become great artists, okay? And uh, you can see in the selfie video, I say, I would like to take a moment and explain what Kiva.org does. And then it cuts to a coffee farmer. And you can see this per person's like picking coffee beans or something. And uh, I say over top of that photo, I say, people around the world work hard every day. And then we go to the next one here. Uh, for their families, for a brighter future, for a chance to make a difference. And you can see in each one of these, I've, I've kind of, I've got the photo that I want for each one because at the same time of making the storyboard, I was on Google looking for the images. Now I'm going to break that into the next step, but you'll probably do it at the same time you're doing your storyboarding is that you will come up with those images. So if you're doing a video all about volcanology, then you would obviously be writing down what volcanoes, what pictures of volcanologists you want to have from your searches in Google. Okay, so, but anyhow, I, you can see I go on through uh, two pages and then three pages of, and here's the blank one here, uh, but three pages, look at, look at the, I don't know what that even is. That's a water buffalo. Look at that awesome thing. Me and animals, I tell you, here's another one here. Here's that's some type of, I don't know, looks like it's come off of the movie Avatar. Uh, and look at this beautiful beast. Uh, I don't, it's an alpaca. Yeah, that's just really, really nice. Okay, so... Anyhow, you get your storyboard together, and, and I'll have a link to this storyboard right below this video in, on mytechbadges.com. And uh, you're going to make this video, okay? So you're going to do the same things that I'm doing. This is your tutorial project. You have to make this video. Okay, so uh, let's go into the next step then.